The iPhone keyboard has definitely improved over the years but for some users, it still feels a bit limiting. That is why there are so many third-party keyboard apps available on the App Store. Among them, the one I usually recommend is the Gboard and there are a few solid reasons behind that choice. One of the best features is the direct access to Google services right from the keyboard. You can use Google search, translate, YouTube, maps and even contacts without leaving the app you were typing in. This is especially useful if you often share links, locations or quick information during conversations. In the right situations, it can genuinely save time and improve productivity. Another practical feature is how easy it is to access punctuation and symbols. By long pressing the period key, you can quickly pick from a range of symbols. It is a small thing, but it does make typing faster and a bit more convenient. If you often use GIF or stickers while chatting, Gboard makes things really easy. It comes with a huge collection of GIF and stickers and you can search for them directly from the keyboard. Once you find what you want, you can quickly insert them into any chat without leaving the app. For those who like a bit of customization, Gboard gives you plenty of options to play with. You can change theme, add a custom background, tweak key colors, adjust key pop-up styles and even modify the swipe trail effect. It is not a must-have feature but these small touches do help the keyboard feel more personal and comfortable to use. It is really easy to download and install Gboard, so don't forget to try it. Just keep in mind that iPhone may still switch back to the native keyboard in certain situations such as password field or on the lock screen. For most iPhone users, the default keyboard works just fine. But if you care about faster typing, instant search and a few more extra productivity features, Gboard is worth trying. And if you have switched from Android to an iPhone, you already know how much more capable Gboard can feel compared to the standard iOS keyboard. So what do you think? Is the default iOS keyboard good enough or do you prefer Gboard? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. That's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos. Thanks for watching.